the summary of xlookup function is that the excel xlookup function is a modern and flexible replacement for older functions like vlookup hlookup and lookup so hlookup supports approximate and exact matching uh, also they support the wild cards which is staric and and question mark for the partial matches and also xlookup uh, works in the vertical and horizontal ranges as well the purpose definitely the the same purpose which vlookup and index match has so xlookup purpose is to find the values in a range or table a uh, written value uh, written value definitely would will be the best match either that will be the exact match or the approximate match according to the data or the condition or situation the syntax of uh, x lookup is is a larger as compared to v lookup or index and match and we need to understand that because it's more dynamic and intuitive towards substituting these old functions so x lookup first function argument is basically the uh, compulsory argument which is the lookup then the lookup array uh, if you have used index and match specifically those users who have index and match applied before so they can understand these two arguments very easily then return array return array will be the uh, result array not found if if the value is not found what we need to have in this argument match mode and search mode now we need to understand the match mode and the search mode so the first argument uh, let's understand the argument first and and the advantages of x lookup and then we will go towards the demonstration side so the argument the first argument is the lookup which is the lookup value lookup array we need to select the array or range of cells in which we need to search the criteria return array the array or range to return that will be the result array we need to select only that specific column or row not found this is the optional uh, this will be the value to return if if there is no match to found if there is no match what kind of value you need to have in cell uh, match mode there are three match modes here uh, basically it's optional and uh, if you skip that so this is the exact match by default if you are a user of vlookup uh, and those of you who are the users of vlookup in vlookup if we skip the last argument which is the range lookup so there in that particular function the default is one which is the true approximate match but in the x lookup the match mode default optional is the exact match which is zero means false then we can also use minus 1 for the exact match or the next smallest we can use 1 for the exact match or the next larger uh, which which relates to the approximate match whenever we are finding any value which is not exactly available we can go with the uh, with the 1 or minus 1 depending on the criteria and we can use 2 if we are using wild card match and we and uh, might be some of users know what wild cards are we can use wild cards in some if count ifs we look up index and match for the partial matches okay the search mode uh, definitely we have different kind of search modes so if we use one it will search from the from the first value default if we use minus one it will use search from the last value which is the reverse okay of two for the binary search which is the ascending and minus two for the binary search descending okay so these are the criterias match type criterias which we can apply as i told you it's depending on the situation either we are going with the exact match either we are going for the approximate match or we are doing the partial match or and we are using the wild card okay so the benefits why the x lookup is different from the v lookup and index and match so the first benefit is the x lookup offers several important advantages especially compared to the v lookup so x lookup can look up data to to the right or left of lookup values and as we know that v lookup works from left to right not from right to left so x lookup can uh, go in any kind of direction okay similar to the index and match x lookup can return multiple results okay and i will told you tell you an exam next example uh, which is the demonstration part x lookup defaults to an exact match 
whereas VLOOKUP defaults to approximate match, and I have told you the reason for that in uh, earlier. XLOOKUP can work with either with the horizontal data or vertical data, but as now as compared to the current your usage in Excel, when your data is column wise, you use VLOOKUP. When your data is raw wise, you use HLOOKUP. But either your data is vertical or horizontal, no need to worry about that. You can use XLOOKUP for both kind of different data sets. XLOOKUP can perform a reverse search, which is not available in VLOOKUP and index and match. So XLOOKUP can perform a reverse search as well. XLOOKUP can return entire rows or columns, not just one values, because it creates spills. Okay. XLOOKUP can work with arrays natively to apply complex criteria. Okay. So before coming to the notes, uh, let me take you the, to the demonstration part. And if you understand the X lookup, you can also uh, understanding the X match function as well. Okay, uh, that gives you a relative position of of a particular value. But first, we have some examples here, and I will apply the X lookup function on this data set. So we have a data. Uh, we have a company names, different company names. We have headcount, uh, the human resource working in that organization, uh, sales, and their types. Okay. Now this is not the real data. Remember that this is just an imaginary data, fictitious data, uh, just to give you a demonstration for the XLOOKUP. So now, for example, if we need to find out number of headcounts from a data for the company Engro. So now we are not using the VLOOKUP or any kind of an index match function. We will be using straight X lookup. The first argument is lookup value, which is the angle uh, available in H4. Lookup array. Lookup array. Now, in, in the V lookup, we used to select entire data in the table array. Now, in the X lookup, it's very different. You just need to select that specific column for the lookup value you are searching for. Okay. And then return array. When this X lookup will find the name of the company, what kind of return you want? We need a number of headcount which is available in that particular column for that particular company. So we have just selected a one column, C4 till C10. Okay. And I will skip all those optional function arguments and I will just close the bracket. So instead of VLOOKUP, we used H lookup, very simple, and we got the headcount which is 5084 exactly matching for the company and grow. This is the first example. Second example, there is a type called B and we need to find out the company name which is in type B. Now this is the lookup towards the left side. Okay, and we know that V lookup does not work from right to left, whereas X lookup can perform that. So equals to X lookup, lookup value again available in L4 lookup array so we need to only select that specific column which is the type column in our case return array what return we are required we need the name of the company so we just need to select the range of the company name and we will just close the bracket so we can see that in the type b the company name is hbl and we got that so this is exactly working like index and match if you have the idea okay so x lookup can perform uh left side uh, lookups as well now in the third example if we have the data set but this is in raw wise we have units we have different units 10 units 25 35 and 50 and according to that we have some discounts rates available and we want to uh, get an idea that on 33 units how much discount we can get so if you are a user of index and match or the v lookup you you might be using this kind of situation and where you apply the one for the approximate match because we are working with the number which is not exactly available in the data so uh, you always use the approximate match but in x lookup how are we going to use it let's do it equals to x lookup lookup value will be h14 that is the number of units we are trying to find lookup array so we need to look up the number of units range return array will be the discount percentage we want to have if not found we will skip that now the match mode now the match mode will be one here 
because either we need the exact match which we know that exact match is not available or the next larger item so we are using one here and search mode we are not using any search mode here for in this scenario and we got the seven percent so if we have 33 units we can get seven percent discount right let's say if we have 36 units we will get because now this criteria is sur surpassed by the next criteria so we have 36 units we will get 10 percent discount if we have 37 units we will get 10 percent discount if we have five units if we purchase five units we will get only one percent discount because this falls in this criteria which is the approximate match so this is very easy to use the x lookup but the ideas are not limited to it uh, the main purpose of this webinar was to give you the fundamental idea about each of the function that how they gonna apply in excel uh, what are their outcomes what kind of function arguments they hold how they are dynamic and how they are very much different from normal excel strategies which we usually apply in different kind of situations okay uh, the last functions before i proceed towards the question and answer session in the chat window uh, i would like to give you an idea about the x match so if you have previously used index and match in microsoft excel and if particularly if you have used the match function okay so if you have used the match function match function gives you a return value as a number and it find the position of that particular criteria either presented in certain raw or column okay so h x match is is the substitute for that and the excel s mac match function uh, performs a lookup and returns a position as similar to the match function and x match can perform lookups either in vertical and horizontal as well okay and this is meant to be a more flexible and powerful successor to the match functions and that's the extra advantage uh, when we compare these two functions so just like x lookup support both approximate match and exact match and wildcard for the partial match so like x lookup function x match can search data starting from the first value to the last value and it it has the capability to do the reverse search as well and finally x match can perform binary searches as well which are specifically optimized for the speed and if you have observed that we have issues towards the large data sets and the speed optimization when it comes to the excel so these new dynamic array functions help us to uh, make sure that our workbooks speed should not be compromised okay and give giving you a quick demonstration for example if we want to find out the position of mcb company from a list of company names so what we're gonna do let's say if i write mcb here and i need to find the position of this value from a list of companies so i have uh, applied the x match lookup value is in h7 then lookup array lookup array will be the company name in which we are finding that particular value match mode either we can go for the exact match we can go for uh, the approximate match and wildcards depending on the situations for in this situation we will go for the exact match and for the exact match we have a zero here so it returns four why four because mcb is being located at the fourth position in this company data set company column okay but there are many uh, usage of x match as well and uh, concluding my today's session